Hello everyone, I'm Anna He. I'm a designer, pattern maker, and a costumer. Today's tutorial is about making embroidery appliques in the style of a house work dress. This is part of a project where I am recreating the beautiful Countess Grafu's lily dress. This is the second tutorial, picking up after part one, we're ready to work on the actual embroidery stitching. First things first, we need to have an applique cut out. Whether you cut it by hand or by machine is up to you. For thinner fabrics, reinforced with fusible interfacing helps with fabric fraying. Here, I load the embroidery design onto the machine via Fab's MySewNet function. Once it is loaded, the first stitching will be the outline for the applique to go on. To stabilize the velvet fabric, I use Soki's Tear Away Stabilizer. A stabilizer will protect the base fabric and reinforce the stitching in denser areas. Once the outline is stitched, the machine will stop and allow for placing the applique on. Off the camera, I have used Soki's KK2000 Temporary Spray Adhesive to the back of the flower applique. Then, use my fingers to press and secure it onto the outline. For fabric like velvet, the pile fiber will cause the applique layer to shift around during sewing. So, it is important to secure it. I like this adhesive because the bonding will disappear within a few days without staining. Because we designed this embroidery to be an applique style, the next stitches will be a stay stitch to further secure the ivory fabric. On to satin stitching for the outline. After the outline comes the candle wigging stitch. After the candle wigging stitch is the stamen portion. Note that when we were designing this embroidery, we started from the outside edges and progressed inwards. This way, the stitching will not get distorted. And it's done! Fresh off the machine, you may notice that there are some fibers from the applique sticking out. This is okay as we can carefully trim them off. To further embellish this design, I am going to add sea beads to the candle wick stitch line to bring out the details. This whole mock-up took about an hour, but I'm sure it will go faster as I proceed. I'm so very happy with the stitch style and the overall look. For my final dress, I will be using this technique to embellish the panels as in the original lily gown. I hope this demystifies the machine embroidery applique process for you. See you next time!